These were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between BLG and Top Esports. It's time for game one. All right, off the bat, we're in trouble here. 369 slowed by the Ash. The center slow to respond, but 369 pulled in after the flash and first blood for night. You couldn't ask for more for BLG. Chase goes down, Chase loses flash, and in the snowballing match of the top lane, we'll take on the first play on the map. Elkanon continue to push in. Shun now revisiting this bottom lane. They know Tien just recalled and the spear hits onto Mako. The dive is underway. Mako with a double knock up and the root comes through as well. Top Esports outplay. On goes down one for one. Dragula flashes to safety, but it's answered by Shun who grabs a double on the Cougar. I think they're pretty oh, happy to use that to leverage into a soul condition as well if they can stack up multiple early dragons. Feels like a fantastic start for BLG. Thousand gold lead, they got that first strike. Oh, a arrow. spear from across the map, an arrow from Elk into the heart of 369. Bin, he has his 1v1. It's not really a 1v1, is actually knocked away from Tien's ultimate. Oh, and pushes oh. for an easy kill. Bin making him look daft in the top side. Dashes under tower. Throw this first punch, and it has sent top esports spinning for the time being. I think so much of that has come from this Ash. The level one, the hawk shots, the arrows, the ability to push it's the lane. Already, Mako has the call of the Forge God. On will be that target. Look at the CC chain! Mako and Jackie Love make a mockery of BLG. Just talking about, oh, this Ash calls. Really stick around and contest for that. Kills tough for being up in that top side as the Croc in a 2v1. And like you say, Tien there alongside Jackie Love. I was gonna say should set up for gross, but instead they're setting up for a dive in his top lane. Yeah, they're happy to tank this one. Bin dashes back under, bit of sustain there, but the damage is too much. And it's 369's grab kill as Shun arrives to get the wave. Wasn't sure if he'd gone too far there. Does hit a spear onto really 369. Really helping by roaming up early, using that center. I mean, even when center has zero items, you're still a range shady carry with a decent amount of burst early. You can really start to threaten. Oh, the horn combo comes through from Mako. Doesn't find the W in the midst, and suddenly L walking away with the flash to finish the job. Mako is one auto from a solo kill onto the enemy AD carry. Mako gives himself a celebratory barrier. Bin trying to even the score. 369 in trouble on and Shun moving in. Nowhere to go on this one. The Ignite comes in and Shun will finish the job as on tanks the tower. Nearly step back under the tower there, but they're okay. 369 falls. Green TP's up. No, sorry, Mako. TP's up to the top side to catch this one. Yeah. <laughs> he does it all. He uses the barrier, gets the teleport after, goes back hard mode. If they don't get themselves much more of an advantage, if they use this Herald to break open a big turret, that might be it, but they might have to fight for it. 7k on that Herald, and the arrow goes in on screen. The flash for the handshake, but the wall of soldiers blocks it, and then a ram charges through the ranks. BLG knocked asunder by Mako as Elk will fall as well. It's beautiful. From top esports and now Knight in trouble. 369, the old solo lane is up against each other. Once brothers, but no longer, says Knight, as he finds a kill onto his old teammate. Bin now trying to escape from Jackie Love and Mako, who look for more. It's an absolute scrap on the rift. Knight showing that he can't just only move in L's like a chess piece. He hands one to 369 with love from JDG to BLG. Tien's gonna stop and take this top lane turret, but he might have just overstayed. Bin can absolutely lock him in place for sure. Tien has stayed far too long for this one. The stun will come through, but he doesn't have any real damage to speak of. And with three players, Tien will fall. That will finally be the Herald for BLG. Three groups apiece, one Drake apiece. On this, uh, on this matchup, so he's going to be just taking some damage without Ooh, that. Top East was choosing to give up the Dragon Spawn, but maybe looking to shut down Bin instead. Mako can cast the ult. No flash up for Bin either. He's just used his slice. Won't get a dice out of this one. Call of the Forge God finds the knockoff. That's the brittle proc into the W into 369, grabbing himself a kill. Knight will answer with a tier one. The Drake will go down for BLG as well. The top Esports happy to trade elsewhere. Yeah, so I think BLG, they get themselves an important dragon. It's a mountain rift as well. If they can get themselves a mountain. 
wants to finish this tower, might just be able to. Bin can threaten him, but 369 knows how confident he is, knows he can challenge the 1v1 with Tien on that side of the map. He was happy to step up. One tier of a scrap over that crab there. Two items now picked up by Elk as well. So this Ash starting to Tien. get to that stage in the game. Call of the Forge got flashed by On, but it hits off to Shun and the rest of the CC chain lands onto On regardless. Another kill for Cream. Wonderful patience from Tien, showing what the Sejuani can do. Now you're at that kind of two item spot. BLG, they might look for a bit of, bit of a flank here. There's no On there, would be looking for a 4v5. And here's the arrow. Arrow from Elk as they dive onto the backside. You said you wanted something from Knight. There it is. Another kill onto 369. Jackie caught by the croc. And BLG now kiting backwards as Bin tanks for the team. Cream doesn't have the damage to finish anymore. Well, there you go. Knight gets the ult onto the back line. And BLG managed to walk away with something. Cream manages to just about save the rest of his team with a shuffle and a tower. That was uh, well needed at that point, but BLG showing something, oh and it's God. past 20 minutes. They are going double for a TP. Baron rush. They're going for the double TP. BLG turning on the afterburners. Tien in the area, Mako in the area. No call of the Forge got available, though, for top esports. That's their big engage tool. Tien just has to pray for a miracle. Could be a 50-50 as Mako gets a double knockup, but Knight goes in, just starts to threaten as the rest of the team goes onto the Baron. Hostile takeover is massive, and it's a kill onto Mako. TP comes through from 369 to join the action, but the Baron goes down. Down. BLG in the pit as 5-1 falls as Shun chases Tien over the wall. 369 trying to find revenge, but he finds no the way! Cream pulled back in, gets one, gets two, and here comes Jackie to finish the job. The snipe for the slow as Cream looks for a third, but Elk takes him down. And suddenly, one for one on the back side of the fight. Knight now trying to escape will do so. It's so well, you know that they were scrimming leading up to internationals. What? 7,000 times from in the last fight. That is absurd. A third trade, though, for BLG. That sole point for them, but in trade for one, because top esports have pushed down the mid lane and nearly taken an inhib tower. Uh, they don't take it fully, though. So BLG, they'll be able to rally behind. Uh, their mid lane and get themselves there. BLG do have that Baron buff on Cream, who was sat there wave cling, which means that they couldn't push any harder. Top Easels, they are getting to the point where they can start the death ball now, and they've gone to Cream, they've gone oh, to Knight. No, this is not the time to be caught out. This is not the series to be caught out. A huge pick for Top Esports. I don't think there's much they can find off the back of it, luckily for BLG. Uh, the thing with that is, though, that's the last Baron buff. BLG, they just lost their last Baron buff there. Knight ends up dying uh, just in his own jungle. Not really sure what he was looking for there. Top Esports, they have reached the point in the game where they can death ball. This was the danger point for BLG. Do they have the lead to last us out? Well, it's only 1,000 gold lead. They are, however, on like soul sins that scale with difficulty, with skill. They don't necessarily do less damage, but it's harder to get their big damage from 369. We were talking about how strong oh, he oh. is. Yen has flash, will have to use it. Call of the Forge got used now, and Bin gets onto the flank. Hostile takeover to try and set up, but the damage isn't there. Bin the one sent packing instead as Cream looks for a little bit more and finds it onto Shun. No casualties, but top esports gain control. Yeah, and Elk loses oh Flash. God. It's really, really bad. That's an arrow! Oh, a combo coming on in. Cream found and will be taken down. But it's in trade for Knight. No, Dash is back in the last second. Still taken down somehow. The auto followed him and on fell with him. Suddenly, Baron spawning in 20 seconds. Top Esports. Top Esports pings on towards the Drake from the side of BLG, but he's not up for another 40 seconds. Yeah, so what BLG will want to do is get some control over bot side. They know the Baron's going over. Knight also can't get back to his safety. It does mean that both of him and on go down. <laughs> kind of look like Knight for trade on in the replay there. Yeah. <laughs> this top esports will secure themselves. Has been gifted to him this game. Needs to do the damage. If they want to turn back time, they don't need a Knight. They need a Doctor. Let's see if his screwdriver is sonic enough. Bin behind enemy lines and Jackie Love caught the combo. It's gorgeous, and they find Tien as well. Bin setting up to deny the rest of the team away. And the hostile takeover is enough! It's 369 that takes down his jungler, and now BLG chase for more. Turn back time, they absolutely have. The 80s hit is coming back to life once more, and Mako will fall to make it four. BLG find a miracle.
Somehow, someway, BLG Reap has the last Baron buff to try and wave clear. It's not going to be enough to save this turret. BLG will at least take something. They don't sadly take an inhib. It's not going to be the hugest. Here. BLG, only three on the scene. Knight moved over towards the wave. Needs to rejoin his squad. Bin not on a flank for the time being. Needs to get over there. In the meantime, Tien trying to get onto Shun, who's zoning the boy. Neither jungler actually on the Drake for the time being. 6k on the dragon. Tien isn't in the pit. And the spike comes down. That's Martin Soul for BLG. But can they find the fight as well? Cream forced to use his ult. But Knight just dips back out as Mako escapes on the front line. Bin walks away with his life. How has nobody gone down? BLG get a soul. I feel a lot better about going towards this. And they'll rush it down quickly. Knight immediately jumps over the wall and gets a tag onto Jackula. Bin behind enemy lines. BLG. LG could try and look for an ace. They need to deny these Baron buffs. Top Esports retreating on the top side of Tien, caught in the pit here, but they turn onto Bin. Bin forced away towards the rest of his team. He can't get a flank on the croc, but maybe they can go mid, but there's no minions. The minions are in their own base. The game. I'm not sure which one, whether TP will come back up or if the ward will time out first. I guess only time will tell. Top Esports though with Baron, and with a range advantage as well. Wait. Never mind the siege, they're just gonna go for kills instead. On under the tower! And he survives the shield at the last second, the shot blast is too short. How the hell has he got out of that one? Three mounted dragons, a mounted soul. You put it all in order. Again, scaling advantage you'd have to assume goes to top esports with this composition. Very long range at this point, and all the extra stats will very much help. BLG potentially looking for the flank. Bin, again, hovering in the wings. Wants to try and find his way onto the back line. I love this from top esports though. Just use the center range. You don't have to kill it. They've got range. BLG have to find something special here. Elder will reset. Tien goes for his ultimate. But before the fight can even begin, it's over. Shun kicked out. Bin gets into the back line. But it's too little and it's too late. Knight gets a shield. Bin alone as the rest of the carries try and get in. Knight dives into the mix. But he can't get it done. And Elf is alone in the woods and hunts by the crossbow of Top Esports. That is game one. Top Esports reigns supreme. Top Esports sent BLG into the ice locker off the back of a perfect Sichuani ultimate. The fight was over before it began. The game was so, so back and forth, but Top Esports proving they are here to fight for it. The fact that BLG held on this long with his composition is impressive, but Top Esports and it will once again be that Jace 4369 trying to play out again another snowballing carry versus carry matchup yeah. in that top side. BLG really like in 1v9 form because that's just the expectation after all these years. That's on having to flash very early on into the lane, just going way too deep on the tower. Elk actually dashes forward the ignite, denied by Jackula, but Mako survives. Uh, in the ben. meantime, Ben's just got a solo kill on 369. Well, you get more oh. XP for the solo kill, so Bin actually gets a slight advantage there too. I don't think it's going to lead to that much, and indeed it hasn't really in terms of those XP bars. 369 though, a flashless Jace is not a happy Jace. And Bin is on the wrong side. He's also flashless. The E not going to get him out to safety at the end. Picks up a nice freebie on the top side. He was cancel out that ward hop with the cube. Doesn't quite win that mind game. Tian ends up getting out to safety. Tian has occasionally played fast and loose with walking into enemy controlled sides of the jungle. Just try to see if he can kind of greed his way into it. He's just eating the shot blast. Big damage from 369 as Bin goes in. 369 calls his bluff and brings him down. That was gorgeous. That's a 999 for me up in that top side. 369 gets that shot blast onto Bin through the minion wave and the cannon goes down. We talked about this top lane matchup being very snowball -y. once again. Getting a solo kill is massive for top esports. BLG trying to get a cross map down here. Mako does have heal from Spellbook. I don't know if that's going to be enough though. Knock up to start it off. The bomb is on Mako's head. On, takes another shot and he does go down. Mako grabs a kill. Is there any play you can make towards Mako's Orn that works? To the top side once more. As Tien looks to get behind the tower, flashes to find the king, smites the minion! Oh, Tien! It's vintage! It's 2019 Tien on my screen! And then, in the bot side, Mako manages to find that knock-up, sets up for Orn. As Knight now moves up to the top lane, 369 in a 1v1 against the Tristana, and he wins it, gets a little knock and forces the flash. As the Sonic Wave comes through from Tien, but Bin is here, slicing Maelstrom is available. 369 surely can't get out of this one. Can Bin kill them? Wait a second! Okay, one last auto from Bin finishes the job. But a little too excited. 
You know, a few minutes ago I said game two will probably slow down if you've seen series like this before. Absolutely not. They're going back towards the top side as 369 caught. Flashes, but the Roots still going to find their mark and Bin can follow up for it. Flash to find the knockback. The shield nowhere near enough for 369. In the meantime, Tien has been caught and Knight will finish the kill. That's a shutdown into the pocket of the mid lane AD carry. BLG strike hard on the top side once again. Oh, what did we say? BLG in a minute. BLG not willing to let this early game go. And now teleport in for 369. He's getting the direst oh, treatment. No, I don't know if that was the TP you want to go for right there. 369 gonna go down this time. Elk grabs the kill. And that's a 1-4 Has chase. had every member of BLG visit his lane at some point. Has managed to get himself the full first turret in this top side. Jackal is sharing some of the gold, but he's now very far ahead in that top lane matchup compared to where he absolutely should have been. I feel like 369 stopped DPSing the tower. Really annoying in some regards. Top Beast Wars, they have been very calm, cool, and collected. And I feel like, unlike, um, say, in terms of other top teams, I think JDG can sometimes slack off in the early health bars has been still hiding off to the side, still nice. searching for that flank. The roots Knock come off. Teleport. That's enough to find the Drake. TP out from Bin. They won't be expecting this one. Short range TP to start the fight, but they can't finish up when he kills. And instead, it's on to fall. Magnificent exhaust to almost nothing for BLG. They do get themselves the dragon. That is the big win. Okay, okay, you know what? Take it back. That is still a big win. But given that they should have maybe had maybe a flash from Shun, but I don't even think he had the cooldowns at that point. So Top Esports managed to get their jungler surviving down. Now Jackal of no flash, no cleanse. Oh He's dead. Oh my goodness, Top Esports. Unheard of mistakes. They split. They've been playing so immaculately. And yet, here in game number two, a couple of errors across the board. Knight grabs himself a double. If this has happened, way more value from that dragon. So they have the advantage when it comes to the threat of both of these objectives. Top Esports. There's a teleport ward behind them. And here oh, we they're go. retreating into TP it. From Bin Jackie Love already jumped and taken down as Cream pushes Bin towards the rest of his team. Tien betrayed by his own mid laner. Mako there to save the day and takes one down. But I don't know if one is enough. 3v3 now as Elk is free firing. Knight gets the reset. 369 will walk away with his life. Or will he? Flash unavailable for Knight as Elk looks for a little bit more. Dives forward, flashes for it. Knight's W surely up any second now. Now gets into tri rush and 369 will fall. Another for BLG just as Drake comes up. The ocean soul for the side of BLG. Slow fights are no longer an option for Top Esports. With the Mark and Leona, it makes their job so easy. Top Esports get caught in, the, caught in the worst possible terrain. They get funneled into a choke point. It's a bit oh. of an awkward ult from Cream. The fight starts again. Elk takes a chunk. He does have an ocean soul though, so not going to survive. He goes one for one with 369. Has been kicked backwards. Manages to flash out the top side of the place. Jackalope tries to chase him, but Cream is caught under his own tower here. Knight has to do the damage, dodges the roof, but it's shun to finish the job. And Knight dips back out the bot side of the play. A two for one in the end for BLG. Now the Ocean Soul means that Bin is a little bit higher HP than he could be. That's how it really helping Top Esports get some control in mid lane. They do somehow manage to burst out a couple of members. Bin maybe looking to proc that Ocean Soul again. That healing is really nasty. It certainly is. Shun flashes for the engage as well as Knight dives over the wall and Jackie Love is caught. TN next to fall as On will deny the escape. Knight stopping any kind of escape route either tn will fall and that will probably be barren as well blg go from win to win you ever want an example of how ocean soul wins your games that's it right there bid was on like less than 100 hp regens back up to a point where he can fight and get themselves a fight which wins them the baron they couldn't quite get that the last time top so they do have a spell looks like from mako oh god mako gets into the pit and he gets busted shot and out again that looks funky and he won't even walk away with his life baron and a bonus for blg they put a timer on top esports with these drakes and they've used it excellently Fantastic objective play from BLG, and you know what? It is about time we mentioned that Yordle in the room as well. We have been talking a lot of smack about uh, Knight and his Tristana play over this summer. He's currently at 7-0 and 6, and having the ability to reset and get massive damage across this fight is really what ends up winning across them beyond this point. The Ocean Soul's helping them stay in the stay in the fight longer too. Bin, look how little HP he goes down to. One last soldier also brings him below 100 HP just about, but the Ocean Soul means that he's getting back 100 
100 HP per tick, even gets the honey fruit, which means it can influence the back end of this fight as well. Top will still manage to burst a load of people out, way better than they should have done, given the state in the game, but it's just not enough. Knight is just so far ahead of this Tristana as well. He's an absolute monster. And this is a scaling pick, this is a hyper carry. Three items in 25 minutes as the solar flare gets a slow across the team. The roots come on in as well. Mako buffers the CC, but he's just not tanky enough at this point in the game. Dashes back towards the rest of his team. And it's not enough damage from BLG. Shun almost went down as well, but again, that ocean soul means he can just stick around anyway. Uh Cream is just split pushing right now. He says, okay, let's not try and fight against the Ocean Soul. We don't want to wave flare against the Baron. Trying to trade in hip for in hip. It is a six grub. Nash is through Azir, so he'll make short work of them. At least get something on the board, but he's not really able to stay and get the in hip, sadly. He doesn't have TP either, so this could be two in hip towers taken by BLG. Top is what's right now. Tien on that Lee Sin needs to find his moment, tries to dive in, but On just stuns him up and. Just has to dash straight on back towards the uh, rest ben? of his team. Ben is TPing once again behind enemy lines. This time he finds the slicing maelstrom that will turn the game in his favor. Cream found as a bonus for BLG and the Ocean Soul means they can keep on charging forwards. Baron onto the minion wave as it enters under the Nexus Towers. Mako forced away by oh. the bomb from Knight as well. A snipe from L onto Jackie Love and Mako barely makes it to Fountain. But I'm not even sure Fountain can save top esports now. BLG, what a dominant game number two. 20 to 10 on the scoreboard as they show up and make sure top esports know this won't be a freebie. They will not go easily. And they find themselves game two. Make a force back onto the fountain. This is straight up bullying as BLG finish out game two. You do need to get a certain amount of gold. Shuns. Hindred in game three it has been banned away so much. He is one of the best at this champion within the LPL. It does leave on as the you know, like the this final game of the series. Game three on your screens. Let's decide this series once and for all. Jackie Love flashes. Ignite is there as well. I wanted to let the Chinos ring, but Jackie Love will not allow that to happen. Elk now gets oh, knocked already flashed. up, but he's already flashed into the play. Oh no, it's a disaster. Top Esports flipped the evade back on his head. Oh no, Knight sneaking in towards the enemy jungle. Can he find a way to recall? I think he has. He'll get back to back. No, that's his TP. He's now no. skipping over to the other side of the map. Very good at bullying out eight, uh, tank junglers on that side. 369. Oh, nice uh, skipped over. Ben flashed on though by 369. Who wants to try and find a kill? Mark comes through from Shun. 369 is not going to survive this one. And they even wait for the mark to come in. I believe Shun just grabbed his first mark of the game. The portrait, Shay. Get yourself some damage onto tower as well. On doesn't have the demolish wheel to still be here for the extra Q reset. And maybe even now, On can try oh, and go walk beyond dive. the tower. They have to call Shuts the teleport here. because Renexon can't get there. Mako moves up. I don't know if 369 can get here in time. I think Bin is going to be able to get the damage out. Shun arrives as well. The Mountain Dread does so much damage and an Ignite from On is enough to finish the job. 369 finally hits level 5. He's still a full level down. In fact, a level and a half down versus Bin as he misses yet more CS. At least he's going to try and protect that Grom. Losing a lot of CS to the tower, but so is 369. And I think BLG will be quite happy with that trade. On's coming down as well, and remember, you still have the Weaver oh, Squall, and here we go! From on as Jackie Love the target, but no, Tien flicked back. Solo on HP, surely goes down. Elk has just walked into the top esports ranks. He's pretending to be on the other team, and rails down Mako. Jackie Love next on the chopping block. Flash forced by Elk, but the route will be enough to dissuade the follow-up. <laughs> yeah, there's an Elk, there's really, a really hard for him to play this out, and should still open on the map. Cream, no flash. That is a nice Empress Divide though, pulls him, I was going to say to safety, that doesn't look very safe to me, Shun, no Knight will finish that kill, but Shun did not have the mark on the Azir, so still only on the three stacks, uh, 369 though takes yet another chunk, his Dominus is on cooldown, has been used that slicing Maelstrom, but again, just this top lane, it's not getting any easier. 
it gets much worse when you build up that Leandries, and that's gonna be a sad thing. So this Corn, I guess the combo. Jackalove Jack in danger, no summoners. Oh my god, Nature Solo kills Jackalove. He remembers his time on top right. esports, and uh, Jackalove unfortunately wishes it was still Force. I'm kind of amazed that that tower is still there in the top side for BLG. We'll finally knock it over as Elk tries to steal a big chicken. BLG won't let anything go the way of top esports. Gets himself now. a Kraken Slayer and he'll get himself. I don't even know, even know if he's going towards um, what a second item will be. He could go towards a Bloodthirster with the um, the Moss Stomper Overshield if he really wants to. He might also go towards mid lane and kill Mako. Mako gets the charge, has the Bellows Breath as well, and just walks his way out of that one. Didn't even have to use FW in the end. But it will be a tier one in the Path Plate 4 series that they have, so I don't think they'll be putting themselves quite in first place to start off with, as anyone's legend are already 3 and 0 in this BLG's first series. However, in terms of form, they're looking like it. Tien, not quite in that solar flare, so we'll walk away with his life. Knight hops aboard the uh, Herald he, and yeah, that's not the right choice. His mind. Yeah, we have seen. Zach as well, he's one point that's away insane. from his next breaking point. And guess what? Drake's coming up in 20 seconds. BLG. Teleport, cannon. Maximum control as the solar flare goes a little bit wide. Double TP behind enemy lines, though. Have been finds two immediately eradicates the health bars and BLG just wiped top esports off the face of mid lane. Top esports have been pushed out of their own jungle so heavily that they can't spot the teleport coming in. BLG will take another turret. They have six grubs. They destroy these like they're made out of paper mache. You have Cream on the top side trying to get some objective bounties. Knight is feeling it so much. It's been a while since he's built this up. You can't build up the Tristana. The Magi's is back. Here's an avid reader and absolutely off to the races with 10 stacks on that already. Shun starts to get damage onto TN as well. Great. Oh, I surely top esports can't actually fight for this one. I mean, the respawns are starting to come through. Mako has TP and is immediately going to channel that one. It looks like top esports want to contest the Drake, and actually, BLG are going to respect it. Fair play. Top esports do manage to muscle their way in. Yeah, there are less of those ultimates for BLG. No flash, no ult for Bin. Knight doesn't have his ultimate to change the terrain. And of course, no solar flare too for Honor alongside no flash for him. So yeah, even though they are very far ahead and they have some fantastic items built up to, to, to oh, match that, I think he's done an okay job in this third game to at least get some kind of push. But if he overstays, he is very, very squishy. Oh, 369. He doesn't like know. This. He yeah. lacks critical information. <laughs> Knight arrives. The stun is there. The follow-up followed up from Knight. Fantastic little pick in the bottom side for both solo lanes. TP's available, so top esports can't even make a play towards the Baron. Follow the Forge got dodged by Elk. And now BLG can continue to pressure in the top side while Bin pushes down bottom. That was a nice kick teleport from Knight as well, just trying to come out of the fog of war, get an unexpected combo. Doesn't quite catch the jungler, as you rightfully said, Vince just start pushing this one and threaten that Thrank teleport. That's where those wards that were placed earlier are going to come in. Top Esports fighting in a 4v5. So the tower just continues to get sieged upon. Bin has six grubs to work with as well, remember, so he makes short work of the tier two in the bot side. That's 700 more oh, yeah, They're just waiting for BLG to slip up themselves. Yeah. They need to be so, so disciplined. It is so hard to play this, and they're already giving over objectives like this dragon. Bin is being real cheeky with this. Slicing Maelstrom is available. Okay, he gets spotted, but here comes Knight, and suddenly, Cream finds himself alone. Cream thought he was supporting his jungle, and little did he know he was the one out of position. And now 369 gets TP'd on. Dominus immediately comes through, but Bin just kites it out. He just steals the minion uh, wave away. Jackie's here. Jackie Love is here. Bin immediately pops the slicing maelstrom, but not tanky enough on the Ken. And 369 gets a bit of revenge for the laning phase, but on is not going to let that one go unpunished. There goes the spell shield. Here come the stuns. Shun diving into the mix as Elk will finish it off. No, Shun snags another. It all starts at top East, but not realizing that their own jungle isn't theirs anymore. BLG have the have the writ of ownership for that one and top east was they're trying to walk up again but they just can't fight back they're getting pushed out echo slowed mounting dread forced to flash they won't chase for more as tp comes in top esports get a chance to punish three man call of the forge god cream is here with the dps on on the front line but he's just so damn tanky they can't quite finish these kills 369 surviving is out chased by cream the health bar's low but a disaster for tez nobody falls 
but they do manage to stop BLG taking the Baron. They do manage to get themselves a lot of HP bars down as well. I think that went a lot better than it could have done for them. Wait, I was no expecting vision. someone to die from top no esports, but they have given up top side. There is no vision. You're absolutely right. They stopped them the first time. They won't be able to stop them now. Do they know? I'm not sure they were aware that. BLG just immediately run towards the Baron, and now Top Esports have to try and deny it. Trisha Barrage dodge, but Jackilov knocked back in and been sets up for more. Tien slowed under the tower. Cream tries to move to his jungle's savior, but he just can't get in there. BLG find three and go back to the Purple Worm again. Oh, Top Esports, they haven't won versus BLG in two years since the summer of 22 and BLG are determined to keep that record in their favor. Cream has flash, has ult, he is the last hope. Cream and 369, we've seen Knight and 369 do this before, but can the new top esports mid laner make it happen himself? 369 dives in and just dies immediately. Cream in a 1v5, he dives in, he tries to make magic, but all he finds is the dark arts against him. It's Knight with a double. Yeah, I thought that Knights were only meant to move in L's rather than hand out L's in this case. He's learning a little bit from the chess piece in that sense, keeping going forwards. No center makes it harder to mount a team fight. Six grubs and all that range from Shun makes it so hard to defend anything. Cream goes for an ultimate, but they're just going to go for a dive in the mid lane. Shun with a lamb's rest bite means nobody goes down on the side of BLG. TN trying to get into the mix. Shun will go down, but the slicing maelstrom is there behind them from Bin. And it just tears top esports to pieces, electrocuted where they stand. And now the Nexus laid bare by BLG. It was a close game one, it was a less close game two, and it was a massacre in game number three. BLG going from strength to strength, warming up as the series went on and showing why they are the reigning champions and why Top Esports still haven't beaten them. In These were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between BLG and Top Esports. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.